thing start to finish when you knew it was going to be reality? Um, I knew that this was the place for me as soon as I got offered. I mean, this is the school I wanted to be at. Uh, I mean, as soon as I got offered by Coach Meyer in January of last year, I knew that this is where I was going to be. What's it been like since you got here? Um, I mean, it's been hard, but that's exactly what I need to be able to be the best quarterback I can be. Karen said that your first workout, you guys didn't realize warm-ups were warm-ups. It was that tough. Yeah, it was, we, we thought that was part of the workout. Um, but, I mean, since we've been here, I mean, I'm, I'm roommates with Baron and Jeff, and every time we come back, we know that, like, we're going to be really good football players being here because of what, how we train and what we go through here. Tate, you said as soon as Coach Meyer offered you, you knew. What, what was it about Coach Meyer? I mean, this has been my dream school where I wanted to play, and it was kind of like, regardless of who was here, I was, this is where I wanted to play. I knew that with the coach they have and Coach Meyer being here and the relationship I had with him. And like when I first came here, I just connected with him really well. Because I mean, I think we both have a passion for football that's just second to none. And uh, it was just felt like a perfect, perfect fit for me. It's what was your reaction when they brought in Ryan Day? As new I mean, I didn't know much about him, but after talking to Coach Meyer, uh, I was comfortable with it. So my first meeting with Coach Meyer, when I told him that I was gonna come here, um, he told me that He's not always sure that the guy that he has right now is always going to be here because a lot of them get coaching jobs and promoted and that they might have to move on. But he said he told me that uh, he'll always bring in the next best guy. So I trusted him that no matter what, he was going to bring the best guy, and that's what he did. What are your initial thoughts on Kevin Wilson as well? Just coming in that day, any initial reaction to that? I mean, they're all great guys. I mean, I love being around them. They're all out here watching us work out. Um, I mean, they put in the time, and that's all that matters. What are crowded? quarterback room, obviously JT's coming back, yeah. like Haskins, all these guys. Um, how do you feel, I mean, how are you fitting in, first of all, and how do you feel that you will fit uh, with all these guys here? I mean, you just got to go out there, compete, and do what you can. I mean, there's no guarantee who's going to play. I mean, JT is JT's spot. Um, but, I mean, every day I'm going to go out there, compete, and do everything I can. What did Coach Meyer do through the recruiting process to lay out what the expectations are to be the quarterback at Ohio State? I mean, he wants a leader. He wants a guy that wins games, um, and a guy that can, you know, just go out there and ball. I mean, that's that's basically what, what he wants. And I mean, that's his ex expectations for everybody. If you go out there, we're all pushing each other. It's not just one guy leading. It's the whole team. Like we're we're going through. It's not easy out there. And I mean, you can see that everybody's. It's like really team oriented, and I, and I, I like it a lot. What How made you, this? What made this your uh, dream job? Like you say. Dream school, dream being a quarterback by the state. What what makes it that way? Uh, my grandpa went here, so I've always just been. I mean, Ohio State fan since I was a baby. I mean, I have pictures of me, my yes. grandpa holding me, and I'm in like a little Ohio State onesie and stuff, like a little kid. How would you describe your style of play, Tate? Um, like I said before, I mean, I think um, a pass first, run second. I mean, when plays break down, I think that's when. Uh, you know, I can I can separate myself from different players and, and other quarterbacks. I think that I mean that's one of my best attributes is when plays break down and when stuff isn't normal. Uh, I mean I can make something happen. Do you think were you kind of freewheeling, living on the edge in high school? I can make this play, and does that have to change now or no? I mean I'd always still go through my reads and stuff like that like a regular quarterback. I just feel like okay if they blitz and somebody's coming, I mean I can I can make that guy miss and still still make something happen. So where. Maybe some quarterbacks just take that hit and go down. I mean, that's just where. I mean, it's not that I just sit back there and just drop back and run around. I mean, I sit there. I got still got reads to go through. I mean, it's still uh, regular offense, zone read, drop back, three progression reads, four sometimes, and you got just sometimes plays break down. You got to be able to make stuff happen instead of just losing yards. What do you think of the talent level here now that you've arrived? I mean, it's Ohio State. I mean, it's the best of the best. These, every guy here. Could, I mean, a lot of them that I've seen that haven't played, that were backups last year, or the NFL guys, I can just I mean, go look at Paris Campbell out there. I mean, you'll see that dude has wheels. Like, guys like that, I mean, just he didn't play that much last year, but I'm telling you, he'll be an NFL guy this coming year. So you put it on your shoulders to recruit a lot of these guys or to help out in their recruitments. How much pride do you take in a day like today? You've been here a month, but just to get this class kind of signed, sealed, and delivered. I mean, I wouldn't say I take so much pride in myself. I just wanted to have the best guys around me. I wouldn't, I'm not going to sit here and take credit for anything because, I mean, they have to go through the whole thing. It's not just me sitting here talking to them. They have to do it, talk to the coaches. They have to feel comfortable here. Um, I mean, I'm coming from all the way from Las Vegas, and I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine here. And that's kind of one thing that I can help, like, talk to other guys. who are like, oh, it's so far from home. Like, 
it's not the point. Like you're coming here for a reason. You're coming to make it to the NFL. You want to get a good education. You want to get coached by the best guys. You want to be ready for the NFL. It's not just make it. You want to be ready to play when you get there. Um, this is the best place to be, and I mean, I know that for a fact. I mean, I've been all over. Do you think this class more than any other cements Ohio State as a national brand now? I mean, obviously they've recruited nationally, but uh, the bulk of guys they got this year, including guys like you, are high elite guys from upstate. Where, where do you think that puts them in that respect? I mean, I think this program's already been elite for a long time. Uh, I mean, you can just tell by look, look at the class that just got drafted last year. I mean, 12 guys, first, five in the first round. I mean, that's just unheard of. I mean, we just want to continue to and carry on what, what's left here. I mean, we still have a long ways to go, though. We, we just got here as a class. I mean, you don't know how we're going to turn out. We just got to come out here and work, and, uh, and hopefully you know, it all turns out for the best. But I'm talking about the national impact aspect. You guys are from all over the country, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we obviously, I mean, we see each other at camps. And, I mean, Ohio State's always like a, a top school for whoever. I mean, if, you're, if, you're, if you have the offer, I mean, it's normally they're in your top five. And so you got to, a lot of us, we come together. I mean, I've been talking to Barron. Me, when me and Barron were getting recruited by UCLA and Ohio State at the same time, we were talking about it. And me and Barron were like, no, we're, like, this is where we want to go. Like, we would talk about compared, like, and stuff like that. I've been talking to Barron for over a year. And we just knew that this was the place for us. We, it was funny because we were in a UCLA group chat with all the guys, and then we were at Ohio State one. And we, then there was one day we just left, and we, we both ended up here. So. <laughs> Did you have a coat heavy enough when you got here? Uh, yeah, my parents went and helped me because my, my grandpa went here, so he, he knew what it was about. So um, last time I visited before I started getting recruited was when I was like three or four years old. So, because I still have, I have family out here. So, I mean, I didn't really know, but it hasn't been too bad so yet. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for it. Your family, third cousin, fourth aunt, whatever. Yeah, like it's my uh, grandma's sister and my grandpa, like a lot of his side of the family, on my mom's side. Your grandfather, was he from Ohio originally or? Uh, I think so, I think okay. he was. Well, what's yeah. his name? Uh, Richard Culberson. Uh, Culberson? Yeah. Okay. When, when did he go here? Uh, he graduated in 99. Tate, when you were asked about the depth in the quarterback room, did, did you anticipate or were you surprised at all that JT decided to, to stick around for one more year? I mean, I wasn't really surprised. I mean, I, I knew it was like a 50-50 shot, so I mean, I was preparing myself that he was going to come back. I mean, I have no issue competing with whoever. I mean, that's just, you have to, it's making the NFL, you have to compete against the best anyways. And this is not where I want to stop. I want to, I want to play in the NFL. So this isn't going to be the last time I have to compete against the best guy out there. Since you're not a typical quarterback in terms of size, yeah. and you've heard that your whole life, yeah. how have you um, dealt with that, first of all, uh, compensated for it, and, and how do you kind of deal with that issue? I mean, one thing that I learned when I was at the Elite 11 that from Trent Dilfer was if the line, let's say they average 6'5", our line's probably even bigger than that. If we don't have a quarterback that's over 6'5", how are they seeing over 6'5"? If I'm, I mean, he said if he's like, I'm 6'4", my line was 6'5", I'm not seeing over 6'5". You're not seeing over 6'5 at 5'11", but it's the same thing for both of us. I mean, we're both looking over the shoulders half the time. Um, so. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a difference. I mean, I have no problem sitting back there throwing the ball. I mean, I, at least I can't. I have no issue when I'm when I'm throwing the ball. It's not like I, I miss people or anything. Um, I see perfectly fine when I'm back there. Hey, hey, give you a chip on your shoulder. Shoulder. Give you a chip on the shoulder a little bit, just knowing that people are going to be doubting and questioning. I mean, I, I I don't really care anymore. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> at this point, I mean. Look, I mean, I'm, I'm here at Ohio State, and that's, you know, my job is to come here and compete and, that's, and, uh, and do my job. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Hey, when you were a prospect a few years ago, Ohio State had the most, maybe the most high-profile quarterback competition in the history of college football with JT and Cardale. Um, regardless of what JT did, there's going to be a major competition the following year with you and, you know, some of the guys on the roster like Dwayne and uh, Joe and maybe even Emery, uh, who's... I guess I'm not to say his name, but have you thought about what is ahead in like literally 12 months from now? I'm not thinking about 12 months. I'm thinking about right now. I want to play. I mean, I know that I'm just gonna go out there and do everything I can. And if I don't play, I mean, that's that's on my, that's on me. I mean, I know that uh, Coach Myers is gonna play the best guy. If if I go prove that, I mean, that's I mean, that's not my my decision to make or anything. But I just I'm thinking about right now. I'm not thinking about 12 months. Why you do learn? quarterbacks come to places like this when there are four people, three people who came just like you, highly recruited like you in front of them. How does Ohio State sell a quarterback to come into that situation? I mean, 
you got to come in here and compete. I mean, if you want to make it to the NFL, like I said before, it's not you're not going to compete against just average guys, you're going to be competing against the best guys anyway. So if you can make it through this kind of competition, you should be able to make it to the NFL, at least get drafted. I mean, I, if this is not where I want to stop, like I've said. This this is just part of the process of trying to you know keep going. So if I don't play here, I mean, that's me on myself. And um, that's, my, that's my own, I guess, fault for not being good enough or anything. But I'm coming here, I want to play. I mean, that's what it is. I don't care who, who I'm competing against, I want to play. In your early interaction with Coach Wilson, and obviously it was a different coordinator, different guy you knew you'd be working with when you originally recruited here. What, what do you anticipate changing with him? I mean, I think it's like Coach Martin, he said, he just, we just want to expand on the passing game, um, where I think that's where he, they struggled a little bit last year. It wasn't so much that I think. Um, I mean, that's what, exactly what he told me. He said, I just want to expand on the passing game. That's why we're bringing Coach Wilson in. And then he wants to have a specific guy just focus on the quarterbacks, and that's it with Coach Day. And that's exactly what Coach Day did in the NFL, which is working out with the NFL quarterbacks. So I think it's going to be great for us. I mean, I, I love Coach Day. Uh, we've just had a couple meetings with him already, and I mean, I'm feeling real comfortable. He's, he's, ta he's already teaching a lot of us a lot of stuff that, I mean, some of us didn't even know in the room. And what, you, like what? Like what, Tay? I mean, just example. just this morning we're going over fronts and all sorts of different stuff, different blitzes, and the calls, what we see, so we can communicate on the sidelines and stuff like that. Tay, you were one of the captains of this class putting it together, but you also went to high school with a kid that was committed here in Taijan who is no longer coming here. What do you remember or what do you think of the decision that he made to go elsewhere and what is your vantage point of how and why that happened? I mean, that's his decision. Um, I'm not really going to talk about like everything about it, but I mean, I'm, I'm not upset with him. If he felt like going to Nebraska was his best decision, I mean, that's that's what's best for him then. What was did it you learn from uh, watching Cardale, Braxton, JT off the field about you know the attention that comes with playing at Ohio State and how they handle that? I mean, you just got to you got to watch out. I mean, you got to watch your back 24-7 here. Um, not with just, I mean, even being here, I mean, you got to watch yourself off the field and see what, make sure that you're not getting in trouble and stuff like that. And, I mean, I've talked to a lot of the guys. I mean, JT's still here, which is good, because, I mean, I can learn from him. He'll tell me all the experiences, and he's like, and he has no problem expressing everything and telling us what to do and what not to do. Does that happen already, Tate? Last question. What are you learning from JT at this point? I mean, everything. I mean, he's been, this is me his fifth year. I mean, he knows the ins and outs just as much as the coaches do. Um, so, I mean, I have no problem sitting there just learning from JT. I mean, he, he literally knows everything about this program. Does he have a nickname for question. you yet? Because I don't think I've ever heard him call one of his quarterbacks by their actual name. Yeah, my, my nickname is Chuck. <laughs> Chuck? <laughs> Where'd that originate? What? How'd that originate? Uh, uh, Coach Mick wanted it, or, or gave it to me, so this is even back in my official, so that's when they gave, gave him uh, Chuck. Um, <laughs> With no on explanation? That one. What's up? But no explanation for why Chuck? Just no, they just... They thought you looked like went, a Chuck? I guess. <laughs> I you okay with that? Thanks, Dave.